Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shilpa from Sweet Smiles Dental Clinic and Implant Center, Pune. We as parents do everything possible to give the best for the child. In order to do this, we go out of our way, right? Please do that for, the child, for your child's teeth also. Right from the time the tooth erupts in the child's mouth, please start taking care of them. There are some problems which are very prevalent in toddlers. So we'll today discuss about what particular issues are there which are very prevalent in children, especially toddlers from the age of six months to maybe five years. So the first problem that we have seen happening in kids is nursing bottle decay. The name itself is self-explanatory. It usually happens in toddlers who are fed with milk, sweetened syrup or pacifier dipped in sugar during bedtime while the child is, you know, sleeping. So make sure when you feed your child, the child is propped up and after feeding, the child's gums and teeth are wiped well. The second problem that happens is dental decay. So dental decay is very, very, very common in children because the motor skills are not as developed. A child starts to learn brushing well by the age of five to seven years. And also the fact that the amount of snacking is very high and the amount of sweet intake is very high in children. Obviously the decay is relatively higher in young kids. The third problem that happens is sensitivity. Did you ever imagine sensitivity happening with children? Yes, it does. The reason behind it is the enamel that is the outermost layer of the tooth is not as dense in children. So because of that, the chances of sensitivity are there, especially when a permanent tooth is erupting or there's a decay that is happening or there is some erosion happening because of maybe excessive sour food, acidic food or there is a crack in the tooth. Have you heard of bad breath happening in children? Yes, the typical morning breath that happens is because of microorganisms multiplying in the child's mouth at night. This happens because the brushing is not, you're not brushing the child's teeth at night. You really have to be careful about brushing children's teeth at night. It also indicates dry mouth, digestive issues or sinusitis. There are certain other things like malaligned teeth or over retained permanent or over retained milk teeth you may say why do we have to remove those you know over retained teeth that's because if the over retained baby teeth are not removed the permanent teeth don't get enough space for eruption and they come haywire that causes malalignment of teeth also habits like thumb sucking Tongue thrusting are of utmost importance because they can affect the speech of the child and also the shape of the palate. Besides that, accidents are always possible with children. So you really have to take care that if the child falls or if the child hits their teeth, you have to see the dentist immediately. Last but not the least is dental anxiousness yes dental anxiousness if a child is taken to a dentist only for some traumatic procedure like an extraction or something more invasive it's very obvious that the child is anxious and this anxiety is carried forward when the child grows up and so we know that there are so many people who are scared of dentists aren't we so make the child's visit to a dentist easy let him get acquainted to the dentist right from the beginning so that that fear doesn't stay in mind. Hope this was helpful. 
in the next video we will come up to discuss about each of these problems and how to deal with them until then see you and take care bye bye